This 26 Sports High School Hockey presentation is presented by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. All right, welcome back to second period action here from the Wex and Cadillac. You're watching high school hockey on My News 26 Sports. Jeff Castile along with Bill Dooley bringing you the action. And it is zero to zero as we just start the second period. All even up. Cadillac did have a uh, slight advantage in shots during that period, but uh, no one was able to break through. The puck is uh, in the Cardinals zone, and it's knocked down the ice. Giving chase to it is the Cardinal behind the net. Centering attempt doesn't get through. That one goes through to the middle, knocked down nicely by Matt Fox. In behind the net, the Cardinal try and center it. That's Hunter... Webb and he is hustling hard trying to get that puck loose. Now the Vikings, Adlam, he's got Farley with him. There's a nice pass up towards Webb, intercepted, they'll just dump it in. We got a delayed offside. Puck goes all the way down and it'll be icing against Davison. And while we've got a little break in the action here, we would like to thank our sponsor for tonight's game, Cadillac Castings. If you are interested in sponsoring high school hockey, please contact My News 26 Sports at www.mynews26.com and talk to Eric Wotilla. The Vikings back to the point. That one will go out to center ice. Justin Smith will rifle it back in or on the net. Stopped by Austin Eaton. First one to it is Noah Scott, but that's intercepted. Here comes Wood up the ice. Number 23, intercepted by Smith, but taken right back by Jordan Schmidt. The Vikings, Mike Gussert, just will knock it into the zone deep, and he'll go for a change. Puck played around the boards. Justin Smith will reverse it to the opposite corner. Leotard, that... Jeff, he is not very big, is he? No, and uh, that's Alex Leotard. Yeah, that's Alex. There's a there's a pair of them, Alex and his brother Cameron, who are both on the ice right now and uh, soaking wet. They're not a couple hundred pounds between the two. Uh, the Cardinal also have a brother tandem on their team, Nick and Tommy uh, Goyette. Uh, let's see if I yeah Goyette. Now coming down the left side is Schmidt. That one is sticked aside by Nick Meyer. And dumped back in. Boy, Coming Nick right Meyer back. was very solid the other night at Traverse City Central. Uh, probably the best player of the game. Brendan Shanahan tried a sneaky shot there, and that was stopped by Eaton. The Vikings out to center. That one is stolen away. Coming right back in is Parker. Parker with a shot. Meyer makes the nice first save. And coming out with the puck is Hayden Watkins. Watkins up to Shanahan. Shanahan on his off wing. He'll put that in, and that one is blocker to side. Oh, yeah. And Parker for the Cardinal. Watch out, because Leotard's all over him. Good forechecking by the Vikings. Yeah, they've got a young line out right now, along with Gishy in there. That's Alex Leotard back to the point. Matt Fox. It deflects in over Gisha's head. Gisha turns with it, tries to bull his way out in front. Behind the net. Gisha still holding on to the puck. There's a turnaround, and finally the Cardinal will just backhand it down the ice. We have an icing. Nope, it was tipped. It was tipped, so they'll wave it off. Changes are made on both benches. 13.45 to go here in the second period. No score. Phillips shoots that one into the zone. Adlam is chasing for the Vikings. First one to it is going to be Farley. Farley back into Adlam. Adlam with the backhand pass oh. just wide of the net. Good body check by Ben Farley. Gisha got enough on that to change direction. Just didn't end up getting it on net. Every time both teams are getting a chance, they're putting a hit on the other team. So good clean hits. The Vikings tip it in, delayed offside. They'll regroup. Now Farley on the four check. Over to... Their captain up the left side. Dumped high in the zone, and that one was a kind of a sneaky shot. Hunter Webb had it momentarily. Taking the puck, trying to center it is number nine. That's Nick Goyette. 
Big collision Big there. Collision down Schmidt there. and Gisha right in front of the Cardinal bench. Long pass. That'll get past everybody. No icing. Nick Meyer, good pass up the boards to Cam Leotard. Elbows came a little high there by Tommy Goyetz. Brendan Phillips loses the puck. Goyette working hard. He's got a big body and he's forechecking hard in the corner. And coming away with it is Brendan Phillips. He kicks it. Got a penalty coming up. Looks like a holding call. Yeah, I couldn't tell. It's got to be Cadillac. Or, well, they, Cadillac had the puck. This one could be on Brock Taylor, number 13. I want to see if that's uh, Chad Wilson, the referee. Get a look at him. Yep, that is Chad Wilson, our referee, and John Troost is a linesman. Not sure who the other referee is tonight. We'll have to see if we can get that during the second period. First opportunity to see uh, Davison's power play here. And they've got uh, Nick Goyat out there along with uh, Parker. Back to the point. Horton. Gary Horton has it for Davison. There's a pass in the slot. Shot up in the air. I don't think uh, Meyer saw it at first. Good job by the Vikings battling for it deep in the corner. That's Gussert. Hunter Webb with the shot. That never made it through. Centering pass, and the Vikings will clear the zone. Nice job. Behind his own net. Starting off with it is Kerry Horton. Long center ice pass. Right on the stick. They'll pass it over to number 18. That's uh, Jordan Scott. Behind the net goes past Goyette. And it comes up to center ice. Hustling hard is Noah Scott. Yeah. He actually takes it away. Takes a hit, but then he still has the puck. He's a one-man wrecking crew down there. Taking it all by himself. Yeah, he's chewing up some valuable power play time for the Cardinal. Good long pass. Oh, an offside. Good call by Linesman Troost. 48 and, seconds. And varying penalty kills. Davison uh, liked to send one up as a disturber up in the zone, and then they kept three back, and Cadillac was more of in a 2 2. Uh, so just two different ways to, to kill off a penalty. Good to see a little variation. In both teams, have not generated anything on the power play. No, they haven't. So, number still five. Have 40 seconds left on this one, though, so they're not done yet. Hewson for the Cardinal. That one will deflect a big body there, number 15. That's uh, Mahwini. Introduced himself to Justin Smith. Back to uh, uh, Ricky Robbins. That shot is held on to by Nick Meyer. 22 seconds left in the power play. 10.30 to go here in the second period. No score. Cadillac Vikings and the Davison Cardinal. You are listening to high school hockey on My News 26 Sports. Yeah, and not a bad play by Davison there. Uh, sometimes when you start getting fancy and you aren't getting any shots, you just have to throw pucks at the net and get pucks at the net because you never know what's going to happen when that puck is going towards the net. The puck is tied up right at the faceoff circle. Jordan Schmidt, he'll put it back to Allen Hewson. Hewson is taken away and cleared by, that was Gisha. Yep, Gabe Gisha. Oh, he's pressuring him all the way behind the net. All right, here's a pass up the middle. Coming in is number 20. That's Tommy Goyat. Well, there's a shot. Nice save by Meyer. Goes back towards the point. Carpenter, he is checked behind the net. Now Fox is checked. Good pressure here by Davison. And Farley will take it out for the Vikings. Farley's gonna use his speed to go wide. He's gonna try and tuck it around on a wraparound. Oh, and just missing. Almost a deflection off a of skate there. Gisha was looking for maybe an interference call, so he'll go off to the box. There's an interception here. There's a shot high off of Nick Meyer, and then that's batted into the corner by Brock Taylor. Mawinney has a good shot. Yeah, Slapper he does. and a wrister. 
And they've been getting some rebounds kicking out. They got to get a. They've got to get somebody attacking the net on those shots. There's available rebounds. The Vikings will change up wholesale, and then it'll be. Let's see. We got Cam Leotard, Jordan Adlam, Mike Gussert, uh, Brendan Phillips, and Brock Taylor out there for the Vikings. And Noah Scott's out there again. Noah Scott. Sorry, I thought that was Adlam. That's saw two there. Hunter Webb and uh, number six. Oh, that one hit uh, Webb up high. Well, and as we know, Coach Graham likes to mix up his uh, combinations of players and his lines as it goes on. See if he can create some good chemistry. Davison having trouble getting out of their zone. Vikings two four checkers right now. Noah Scott holds on to it patiently. He backhands it up to Gussert. Gussert tries to center. That puck just bounced off the stick of, of Cam Leotard. Nice back check there. Who was that? That was Cam. And finally, they clear the zone. There's a delay right now, so they'll have to change it up here. Yeah, they and it seemed uh, like Davison was just backing off a little bit and giving them a little bit of time. Yeah. I'm surprised. Vikings have a, a good jump going on right here. Now Brendan Phillips to Taylor. Taylor being chased by Jordan Scott. And Davison getting some fresh legs out there. Might be a, and a roughing call. Looks like might be a Hunter Webb. I believe that's number 10. Yep, Hunter Webb, senior right winger. That'll give Cadillac another chance at the power play. Well, and it all starts with a face-off here, Bill. You know how important face-offs are, especially when you're down in the other team's end. Uh, if Davison can win a draw here, they can ice the puck and, and kill a good amount of time off the clock here on the, on the penalty kill. They're going to have uh, Sam Barrup and um, Houston, along with... Uh, I can't tell the number on the, who's facing off for him. I know Kerry Horton is over there in defense. That number, oh, that's Parker, Adam Parker, number 19. The Vikings, that shot goes all the way through, covered up by Eaton. Eric Sharp is doing the PA announcing tonight at the WEX. Face off down deep in the Cardinal zone. It's going to be Adlam and Parker. There's a sh oh. quick shot. Got a lot of wood on it. That was Gabe Gisha. Comes back to Taylor. Taylor, he's got somebody open. There's a one timer by Adlam. Doesn't work. And that one will go up into the netting. Another face off deep in the zone. Wow, real, real quick chance there by Gisha. He stepped in on that face off and let one rip. You were just talking about how important the face off win was, Jeff, and that was one reason why. Well, and, and especially in a game uh, where you're maybe not be get, uh, getting a lot of uh, scoring opportunities, a face-off in the offensive zone is an instant scoring opportunity. There's another win. Win draw. Another win by the Vikings. Taylor, let's see if he can just get one through. It hit a maze of yeah. legs. Oh, off to the races would have been number 19, but instead that one bounces dangerously. and Those are tricky. Those goalies uh, hate those bouncing pucks when they're coming in like that. One in the NHL scored the other night on a bouncing puck. Yep. Now to the middle, Adlam was poke checked nicely and cleared down the zone. I think it's kind of like a baseball catcher trying to catch a knuckleball. You never know what it's gonna do. Here's the long pass up to Ben Farley. Farley cutting down the right side. He takes a bump. Could have been a potential interference, but I think he was playing the body not assuming the dump in. There's a pass up the middle, off Woodstick. He's fighting hard for it. He still has it. Looks for a wrap around, holding on back to the point. Tommy Goyat with the puck. He'll go all the way back and icing it down. 30 seconds to go in the power play. Well, and again, the Vikings have really struggled this year on their power play so far. They just have not gotten a lot of opportunities at, at good shots on goal. Eaton clears that one all the way back to the point, and then Justin Smith had some troubles with it. 
trying to get that puck is uh, Leotard. He's knocked down. That's a good clean play out in front of the net. Gussert, he'll track it down. Back to Carpenter, can't hold it in. Going to be a face-off, and uh, Carpenter could not hold it in. And we're both uh, full strength here. Jeff, there's just not a lot of uh, face-offs either. It's, it's pretty much continuous action. Yeah, and really what face-offs there have been have actually been in Davison zone uh, most of the night. All right, we're back at full strength. The Vikings, Hayden Watkins is out there along with uh, Gerstenberger and Ian Munch. So this is the kid line for the Vikings with Carpenter and Justin Smith dumped in deep, chasing it down. That was uh, Nick Goyat, and the puck is to Carpenter's stick. Carpenter, keep your head up, boys. Now back to, that was uh, Ricky Robbins. The Vikings, number four, Ian Munch. Ian, up the boards, making a change, and intercepted is good body check there by Ian Munch. And the Vikings will just backhand it out to center, relieve some of that pressure. He's got some room. Braybaugh will dump it in the zone. Justin Smith will lose. Oh, and he had a man right there. That was Barrup. Hustling down the right side is Jordan Adlam, and nice positioning there yeah, real nice by Ricky Robbins. Play. Very nice defensive play. Hunter Adams Webb. Good speed and good moves. Yeah. Now Farley. And both teams, it's just hard to get past the defense tonight. Yeah. Good evenly matched uh, squads tonight. Wow. The Cardinal will dump it in and go for a change. That was Phillips clearing it to center ice. Mike Gussert trying to put some pressure on. The Cardinal up towards center. They get it out. Phillips. That pass was in a danger zone. Coming back with it is Mawinney. Gussert, good back check behind his own net. Gussert, that one comes out to Jordan Adlam. Good play there. They have been a little sloppy with the puck down there deep uh, around their own net. Looked like the wings there for a little while last night. I'm sure they're going to be getting talked to uh, when they get back over to the bench here. Last couple uh, shifts. Phillips. Been the same thing. To Fox. Rink wide. Plays right down in front of us right now. Jake Wood. That puck goes back out to Noah Scott. Noah to Gussert. Gussert is checked at the blue line. And another hit. Helmet comes off, so I think they blew the whistle. That was uh, uh, John Braybaugh. Helmet came off. Now, is that automatic if a player's helmet comes off? Is there a, an automatic whistle yes, on that? Yes, in high school it is. Okay. It's a good thing, too. They're trying to protect the players in cuts, concussions. Yeah, exactly. We want to thank our uh, sponsor tonight, Cadillac Casting, for uh, making all this possible. You think back in the old days and the guys didn't even wear helmets, and uh, now they blow the whistle if uh, one comes off. A lot of things have changed yeah. over, over the years. Nice job by Brock Taylor to keep it in. And Noah Scott tried to smother it. Rink wide to Matty Fox. That one is deflected in to Noah Scott. Noah will take a shot, and it made it through. A little bit of a screen on that one. Yeah, it was good timing on the shot because he used the, the player as a screen, actually. But uh, the goalie followed it all the way in. And, uh, Jeff, if people want to get a DVD copy, uh, how can they do that? Uh, anyone interested in a DVD copy of tonight's game, you can contact the station at www.mynews26.com or call 231-577-1844 or check out our Facebook page. Copies are $25. Make a great Christmas gift. All right, Vikings with some pressure in the Cardinal zone. It'll go back to Gussert. Gussert behind the net looking Somehow, boy, he's tied up nicely there by uh, Sam Barrup. Scott, that one is knocked off his stick. Picking it up, though, is Gussert on the wraparound, but only one out there in front are the Cardinal. Now they'll come back one on two. They'll just dump it in. 
It'll go right to Meyer, and nice job there by the Cardinal to get it deep in the zone. Good hustle by Jordan Scott. Yeah, and good defense uh, in their zone. They've done a really good job of uh, pushing them back in the corner, taking the man, and uh, covering in front of the net. So it's going to be tough going to get a try to get a goal against them. You talk about second chances. Well, the Vikings aren't even getting a first chance for the most part, and neither is the Cardinal. Right. Yeah, they're uh, they're tightening up a little bit, other than a little bit of sloppy play by the Vikings. Uh, you know, got to take care of that puck around your around your goal. Still no score. Two thirty-seven to go here in the second period. Faceoff is back to the blue line, and Farley plays it down in the zone. Are we going to have an icing? Nope, no icing. Nope. Here's a breakout to Alex Wood. Nice poke check there, Farley. Yep. Let's see if he can make something happen here. Puck behind the net for Gabe Gisha. Gisha is two-timed right there, checked, and coming away with the puck. Nice pass up to the middle to Goyat. Good pass here. They got a two-on-one over to Wood. Wood with the shot. Great stick there by yeah. Matt Fox. He saved a yeah, good scoring definitely. opportunity. Nice defensive play by Matt there. Okay, Jordan Adlam, one-on-one. -on -one. Coming in the zone. Adlam going wide. Turnaround just... Mm. Wrapped it wide. And no help while the Vikings were getting a change and getting some fresh legs out there. Justin Smith and Jordan Schmidt. Two similar names going at it. 140 to go here in the second. Still no score. Oh. I think that was Noah Scott who just drilled Goyat. Yeah. And that, that could have been a hands to the head yeah, there. Yeah, it did look, a, it looked like it got up a little bit on that, but uh, apparently the refs didn't think so. Letting them play. And an icing call with 118 to go, and uh, I don't think the ref, or the uh, coach, uh, Teller's too happy over there on that non-call. No, I don't think so. Nor the fan base of the Davis yeah. and Cardinals. Yeah. <laughs> Only been, what, two, or two penalties on uh, Davison. In one or two on Cadillac? Uh, a couple on Cadillac okay. also. I think we've seen both their uh, power plays twice. Noah Scott out there with uh, Cam Leitzart. Um, we got David Carpenter, uh, Gussert, Mike Gussert. Back to and the point to Justin Smith. That one is into the netting. Off an Eaton stick. And another offensive zone faceoff for the Vikings. The more you get, like you said, that's, that's good pressure, right. you know. You can turn it into an instant scoring chance if you can get a clean win. Puck goes back to the point. Smith plays it into the corner. First one to it is Gussert. Gussert had Scott out there momentarily. Yeah, he got a good hip into him. Yeah. Keeping it in is Carpenter at the point. Gussert just throws it at the net. That's knocked away by Eaton. That one, look at this. Nice save by Austin Eaton, and he closed the door. Yeah, and he's done a good job of keeping the puck away from the front of the net. A lot of his rebounds have been off to the side, which is by design, of course. 49 seconds to go here in period number two. You're watching high school hockey on My News 26 Sports. Jeff Castillo and Bill Dooley bringing you the action from the Wex and Cadillac. Faceoff is won by the Cardinal. They'll put it around the boards. And real important here in the last minute, you absolutely do not want to let up a goal in the last minute of play. That's kind of a, that's a unwritten rule, so to speak, that you definitely don't want to let one in in your last minute of play. The Vikings, Matt Fox, that one is taken away by Nick Goyat. Taken there by Wood. Vikings will steal it right back. Oh, he stuck out a leg there. Yeah, that's uh, that's dangerous. Now Noah Scott, two on three. Good back checking there by Davison. I'm just impressed by the the responsibility both teams defensively. Vikings, nice catch there and some good hustle by Farley, and that'll go. the The buzzer will end the second period with the same score as we had in the first. No score. And uh, evenly matched once again, Jeff. Yeah, a, a good solid period of hockey. A uh, few more penalties that period than in the first, but uh, neither one of the power plays were able to break through and get anything on the board. All right, as the uh, players file off, they're going to 
uh, do chuck a puck here at the Wex as is customary. And uh, the teams are going, get a little bit of a rest. Our 12 shots for Cadillac, eight for Davison. So uh, the Vikings are a little over, I think they have 21 shots and, 21 uh, and 13, and 13 I for Davison. So Cadillac's holding a slight advantage there. But we want to let everybody know that you are watching High School Hockey on My News 26 Sports. We will be back in just a moment for the third period action. <laughs> 